Hey guys, back with another video, and today we are going over the match card and showing my predictions of the 2023 July 1st edition of Money in the Bank. So, the first match on the card is LA Knight versus Logan Paul versus Santos Escobar versus Butch versus Damian Priest versus Shinsuke Nakamura versus Ricochet in a seven man Money in the Bank ladder match. So, what I think is going to happen is, like, about, like, we're going to go seven minutes in, and people, they they get wore out. And then Ricochet and Logan Paul are going to be on two ladders on each side of the ring. I think they're going to do another cool spot. They both get out of the ring. LA, LA Knight hits a really cool spot. And then LA Knight goes in, into the ring. Logan Paul comes back in. Logan Paul tries to get the briefcase from LA Knight. LA Knight throws him down. And then LA Knight is your Money in the Bank briefcase holder. My final prediction, LA Knight wins. Then next, we have the Women's Money in the Bank ladder match with Trish Stratus, Zoe Stark, Becky Lynch, Selena Vega, Bailey, and EO Sky. So, I think... um. Weighs in like about like six minutes in, or maybe maybe even ten. A bunch happens with damage. Um, a bunch happens with Trish Stratus and Zoe Stark, so they um just beat the living hell out of Becky Lynch. So Becky Lynch is down. The damage control beats up um Trish Stratus and Zoe Stark. Zelina, Zelina Vega gets beat up by um, damage control, so that leaves damage both d damage control damage control teammates rush up to the ladder ladder, and then they and then Bailey like quotes, "This is my time, Eo. I trained you. Your time will come. My time is now." So she tries to grab the briefcase. Eo throws her down. EO tries to grab the briefcase. Becky Lynch slide back, um, slides back in, pushes the ladder. EO falls. Becky Lynch puts up the ladder again, and Becky Lynch wins the briefcase. Next match is the Intercontinental Championship match against Darling and I. Guta against the original bro, Matt Riddle. So, they're gonna, they're gonna have an amazing match. Like, so about, like, about like um seven 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 to eight minutes in, uh, I feel like um the the Imperium um uh, Ludwig Kaiser and Giovanni Vinci rush in to help the um the ring general, and then Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens come out. They get um they get attacked by by Imperium again. Well, mostly by Gunther. And then Randy Orton comes out, and the ref gets knocked down by the by the fight against Imperium and Ko and Sammy. And then, and then Gun Gunther don't, don't, doesn't know what to do. RKO out of nowhere. Riddle Riddle tries to pin. R referee's out. R Randy Orton tries to get the referee up. And then when the referee fi finally gets up, Ludwig Kaiser plants R Riddle, and then Giovanni Vinci pl plants Randy Orton, but the ref didn't see that. And then when the ref gets back in, Powerbomb and Gunther retains the title. My next um next match on the card: Ronda Rousey and Shayna Baszler versus Liv Morgan and Raquel Rodriguez. So, obviously they're going to beat each other up for a little bit. I don't think this match is going to be longer than six minutes. But, I feel like... People saying um, Raquel's going to turn on Liv. I don't think that's going to happen. They, they're like really good together. I feel like they're going to get really close. Raquel's going to like throw, li throw Liv at, out of the ring out to um, Ronda Rousey and Shayna Baszler. But they... But they, um, but only Shayna gets hit. Ronda goes into the ring. Arm, um, 
arm bar, and then they retain the titles. Next match, Seth Rollins versus Finn Balor for the for the World Heavyweight Championship. I th- um I think Damian depends when the money to make briefcase match is going on. It depends um when Cody and Dominic is happening. But I feel like one of the Judgment Day members may come out to assist him, like Dominic or Rhea, depending on which um what time their match is happening. But I feel like they they're they're gonna come out mid match, while Seth is beating him up with dis- distraction. Shaka drop kick, almost hits the coup de gras, but um, super kick right right to the jaw, plants him. He gets on his, gets on his um knees, curb stomp, one two. Ref gets pulled out of the ring. Dominic Dominic and Rhea re- beat the ref up, and then they they beat up Seth. But then. Uh, I don't know who, maybe somebody will come out to help him. But then, I think somebody's gonna come out to help him, I don't know who. I think somebody may help him. Other, other way, I think Seth will retain the title. But, I feel like they're gonna just, um, Judgment Day. If Judgment, if Rhea and Dom don't come out, then it's just gonna be a really good match, five star match. But actually, yeah, I want to change my prediction to that. It's just gonna be a really good match, five stars. Each man has like five pins, but overall, I think Seth Seth just got the title of man. He's not losing it. And then next to Cody and Dom, this is just one of the normal matches. But this match is just a hop a hop um a hot scotch little little um step stone for um Cody to face Dom. I mean no Cody to face Brock, I'm sorry. But Rhea Rhea Ripley is definitely gonna get play some mind games with with the ref and Cody. And then Either way, Cody is gonna gonna get the win. It's gonna be basically a two on one handicap match, but Cody Cody's gonna get the win, and then next the Bloodline Civil War against the Usos and Roman Reigns. So the I don't see Roman Reigns winning this because I feel like if the Usos win this, they can have a Good kickstart back into the tag division, but and then they're gonna like well not the tag division. I feel like they're just gonna get a, the win over Roman Reigns in Solo Sokoa, but it's just gonna be like it's gonna be a Roman Reigns style match. The ref gets knocked down and then stuff happens. I feel like the ref is gonna get knocked out, and then Roman Reigns and Solo Sokoa. Beat up the Us- beat up um Jimmy thrown to the outside and then they just they just get chairs and beat up both of the Usos and then Well they they're mainly gonna just beat up Jay because Jay is the one that ended the bloodline basically. And then and then J- Jimmy comes back and su- su- super kicks Roman but then Soul Sol doesn't stop. Soul just beats both of his brothers, and then R- Rikishi comes out. Rikishi tries to finish. Rikishi tries to finish it. Tell him no, no, no. And then he spikes his father. And then, uh, and then ref finally get finally gets up. Super kick to. Super kick to, uh, Sozakella. Usos win. Those are my final predictions for the July 1st edition of Money in the Bank. And like always, I'm out of here, guys.